Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monoglossia. Some of you may not know Monoglossia's third member. I'm Stefan. Hello, Stefan. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Stefan is... Uh, how old are you, Stefan? I'm 12. You have just turned 12. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Thank you. You have a very nice t-shirt. Can we see it? It's very thematic uh, concerning what we're going to be talking about. You can later. get the merch down below. What, what merch? There is no merch. <laughs> later, later. Be patient. <laughs> merch down below. You have just start in your career. So we wanted to talk about an award that you won recently. That's super exciting. So it was an award from the organization Space EU, which organized an extensive array of activities last year, which was so welcomed by children in Europe and even all around the world because of the lockdown, basically. There was so little to do. It was summer, uh, going out, doing sport, doing things, meeting people was all so limited. So they organized all these activities linked to space. You even talked to a, a French astronaut how cool mm -hmm. is that? Um, and among other things, kids were invited to write adventure stories. Uh, in Bulgaria, we used to have these, we call them game books, basically a book. It was a regular book back then where you are the character. You choose what happens next and you may win or lose. And in this adventure story, uh, Stefan was asked to write to think of a character uh write a series of situations basically a storyline and the character had several characteristics which can can be basically the points in them can be increased based on the decisions that the character makes but let's not just talk about it dryly like that we'll have a look at it um it is published. Well, we'll give you a link. What is the title of your story? Nebula's Journey. Nebula's Journey. It's a space adventure story. And can you tell us about the character Nebula? What is she like? Um, Nebula is a girl who is half Bulgarian, half French. And she actually lives in Japan and her parents are scientists. Okay, so can you tell us very briefly what happens with her in the story? She downloads this, she downloads a map mm -hmm. on her phone, which can bring the your wishes true. Mm -hmm. and can make your wishes come true. Yes. Okay. And, and Nebula really wanted to see if there was another life in the universe. Mm. All right. And does she find anything? Uh, yes. Two a aliens. They, they live on a planet very far from Earth. But the two aliens are in war. Mm -hmm. Are at war. So it's, um, it's a story that teaches a lesson a bit, isn't it? Mm. Okay. And... We have a button called Show Stats, where we can see Nebula's characteristics. Okay, so can you tell us what five characteristics you chose for Nebula that she can build up and that can help her later with um, her battles? Well, battles. There, there aren't actual battles, but like her achievements. She has linguistics. That means that she knows that she is interested in speaking mm -hmm. in other yeah, languages, yeah. imagination, confidence, sense, and empathy. All right. Okay, I, I say let's read a little bit and start the game. And for whoever wants to finish it, you can just jump onto the link and, and do so. Uh, it's been made by a child, so it's not very long or very complex, but I think it's quite enjoyable. Okay, let's read paragraph me, paragraph you, like we sometimes read at home. Okay. <laughs> I'll start. Go ahead. Nobody really knows what it's like to be you, Nebula. 
your Bulgarian mother and French father have been traveling the world for years as professors and of course you have traveled with them you have always felt a bit like an alien you met some lovely people in the numerous schools you attended but none of the friendships really last your friends from school here in japan are very kind but you don't know them that well yet you were feeling a little down and bored the other morning before school when you sat eating croissant with yogurt bulgarian and french food and you downloaded that app travel anywhere you had heard that many classmates had used it to visit disneyland but your first thought happened to be what if what would happen if i found myself in space would i meet creatures that humans do not know and somehow the name that popped up in your head because of your parents recent research was the planet spophis in the galaxy andromeda suddenly there you are standing on the surface of the planet and yes your parents were right there is an atmosphere that makes it possible for you to breathe without a spacesuit you only have your school bag with you luckily it is packed with objects and food you even bring your parents experiments to school you look around and can tell that the planet is inhabited because you see men or alien made structures so you start walking around hoping that you will meet someone or something two greenish shadows approach you and as you look into their face this is you note that they look very much like cats although they are walking like humans what do you do now and we have three options you approach them you try to talk to them but you do not want to approach them or you take out three powdered ingredients from your bag and mix them into a potion something cool about it was that you did it directly in a software that was meant to to do it for you so there was an element of programming in it did you enjoy that uh yes yes i thought that was really cool okay let's do one more one of the aliens tries to talk to you the language is unfamiliar but sounds like a mixture of english and spanish you quickly get to know your interlocutors and they're very friendly you end up making friends with the two aliens of course separately as they do not like each other they seem to have such similar characters and interests that you can't believe that they are not friends with one another soon both of them tell you that they are sincerely interested in the earth's culture and they want you to teach them something beautiful about it can you read the three options you take out the textbook that interests you the most right now japanese language and literature and you start presenting it to your new friends you decided to show them how to build a car that travels through space you're very good at maths math. so you decide to teach them the universal language of math okay and let's just choose one i don't know why we didn't do that before what would you do uh, we chose the first yeah one, we chose actually. the first but we didn't do it consciously okay let's do okay i like language and literature and we're monoglossia let's choose the first yeah. one and just this is a long one let's not read it let's stop here but let's see how the statistics changed okay so we want some linguistics from uh, this question and we want some confidence from the first one because the option that we chose was that we approach the aliens so that boosted our confidence okay uh, for the rest what do we advise our viewers Mm. For the rest, I would recommend it to play this game with your kids. I think that they would really appreciate it. Cool. Sounds amazing. So thank you for joining me today, Stefan, and congratulations on winning first place in this contest. 
Well, see you guys again. You join me again, right? Yes. Cool. Let's say bye to our audience. Bye. Bye-bye.